Uh, right now I'm testing with the SD card and here you can see the Manjaro here you can see the Manjaro um, everything works so I also tested the 3 volt and 5 volt uh, voltage converter and I tested it in a different board uh, here is the 2 converter here this is the 3.3 .3 volt and this is 5 volt 5 volt is going to uh, the module and 3.3 .3 volt is used for other circuitry here and both are producing nice stable voltage and I also tested the USB PD module so this is IP2721 module uh, IC and it's a right now you can select 15 volt uh, from the PD charger so I tested everything and it works you can hopefully uh, use PD if uh, also if uh, my design is like if this chip is not available you can still power uh, using 12 volt DC power supply through the USB-C connector then it will hopefully work everything out you don't need this IC so I'm trying to design the whole um, meeting C version 5 that if uh, one chip is not available you can still build the whole uh, device and that will um, of course reduce the functionality but still you have a meet and see yeah so one thing uh, is i'm testing everything with aso quartz module uh, so this is the version 1 I think version 1.1 1 .1 here is written uh, so uh, uh, I don't know about uh, anything with the Raspberry Pi CM4 so everything will be tested using as a course module and uh, as you can see everything is working everything is yeah so finally I am running the meet and see this display is not working yet but I am running the ASO course and here is the output of the ASO course in the HDMI right now it's running Manjaro and here is the battery You can see it's 21700 battery and this is the ASO quartz uh, it's running from e, um, EMCC memory not the SD card and this is separate uh, one this is only have the this only have the ASO quartz module and the, all the power stuff is happening in the second module right now because I wanted to separate the power and the ASO quartz to test it separately and here the battery uh, right now I'm using the internal battery you can see these two and here is the ASO quartz and here is everything working mm, yep today's sponsor is PCBWay they have PCB printing services starting from five dollars you can order 10 PCBs in nine different colors here they also have 3d printing service which is very reasonable 
go to the third section of the website and click 3d printing service and add your own stl file choose materials and other features and get a price check out their 3d printing service and pcb printing service from the video description below so i'm trying to see if i can pass hdmi from one pcb to another pcb using this fpc cable uh, i have different kind of fpc uh, this one is a generic one this one is from uh, worth electronics and this one is from molex and this one is also from molex i tried this uh three with also the shielding and this is just to supply 3 volt and 5 volt for the pcb nothing is happening here this is 5 volt uh, this is ground and this is 3.3 volt and this is the fpc cable with shielding and this is here just to avoid any connection so here you can see the see the display and when i connect to this display So this is my this is from my laptop and this is the this is detected as another external display so here this is the same connection from the hdmi with other uh, pins for our other stuff in the pcb but this is mainly hdmi connection same as this one so directly this hdmi is because this is similar board so you also have hdmi connection here and this is the hdmi port similar um, it's just replicating this part in another board nothing is populated other than this hdmi and also the edit uh, uh, ic this is just an EPROM uh, containing all the uh, HDMI information you need like the resolution or the hertz for the display as you can see same HDMI but nothing happens so what can I see is the this kinds of FPC is not able to pass the hdmi signal from one pcb to another pcb so this is a showstopper for the whole development right now so what was the plan was this is the same hdmi connection so this type of this type of f PC connector should connect this one and directly go to the display board here this board so I tried with this kinds of FPC cable and other generic one I showed you with shielding and everything but uh, they are not able to carry the HDMI signal from one PCB to another PCB So here you can see this is the uh, this is not the same kind of FPC cable. So this is FFC cable. 
and this is FPC cable so this is called uh, flexible PCB for flexible PCB cable or something so this is the same way we uh, made flexible PCB but it's the pre-made one from Molex so I just shielded it with the aluminum foil I don't know I thought it will work with the like uh, able to help with the impedance so what I researched that is uh, HDMI need to be impedance controlled so in the PCB because of this hard surface or also the copper layer in both ways so it's uh, we are able to come uh, we are able to control the impedance for the HDMI that was around 100 ohm but for the FPC uh, I'm not sure this is a, a hundred ohm or not, but the one from the worth electronics, this is around the copper uh, line inside that was around 15 ohm and the contact was around 20 ohm. So around if uh, I add them together, that will be 25 ohm for each connection. So I thought this will, this was supposed to work, but it also didn't. So then I thought I need a real FPC cable. So I ordered this from Molex and this is also a failure. This was not able to do the impedance control as I thought it would be but yeah the main problem is right now the impedance control also you may see uh, adafruit have a hdmi cable with the fpc i'm not sure what kind of fpc they are using i thought it's a shielded one so i use the aluminium foil for shielding i don't have copper right now so i i didn't test it with the copper maybe i have to go with dsi but after researching in the internet, uh, the Raspberry Pi DSI is not uh, that open, I heard. Uh, they need a separate information to get the DSI working. But I hope for the Pi 64 SO quartz that I will use that have the, or that will support the DSI easily instead of having to program some kinds of proprietary information into it so until then uh, i will research on dsi how to implement it and hopefully see you guys in next video bye